Hey guys, what's up? This was a story that I wrote five years ago. I always told myself that when I was ready, I was going to elaborate into something much longer. When I first came up with this idea, I was supposed to be Victorian, old-fashioned, wigs with the big dresses, carriages, castles and horses, and even Old English. But instead, I decided to go into another direction. I kept the same storyline, just the imagery, in time. Also, the culture has changed. I chose to put a lot of my Cuban roots into this and chose to make the story Spanglish. I'm really pleased with the choices I made. Well, here it is. Ana y las Tres, episode 18. Daniela, part two. In the beginning of this episode, the girls are sitting at the dining room table. It seems like Anna has something to discuss with them. Vanessa is setting the table with bowls of soup. After she's done, she gives her a look, signaling Vanessa to leave the room. At this point, Vanessa is starting to see more of who Anna is and not who she's showing. This scene, I want to focus more on the daughters and the mother. That's why I didn't involve Vanessa in this scene. So it starts off with Daniela fiddling with her phone. She was wondering where her boyfriend Ryan was going to text her back. She hasn't heard from him. Her mother sternly says, put your phone away. Daniela says, I haven't heard from Ryan and he hasn't texted me back and I'm a little worried. And I, she continues to say, I don't care. Daniela shut her phone off and put it away. The room is completely silent. All you could hear are the movements of the spoons and the sipping from their lips. No one dares to even talk. The girls could tell that there's something bothering their mother. And it wasn't their father protesting to see them. It wasn't Vanessa meddling with Anna's daughter's lives. And it wasn't even the book nonsense. Well, not exactly. And Anna started to talk in a very condescending way, saying... I was in the living room yesterday trying to relax, and I found this slamming a copy of The Rich, The Famous, and The Fraud on the table, making a loud noise with the book, startling the girls. Vanessa was peeping from the kitchen at what was going on, wondering how the woman of the mansion was going to handle the situation. Anna knows that Vanessa didn't do this, so the only option is that it was one of her daughters. And she kept looking at the girls, but they were silent and nervous. This only continued to disappoint her. And she became more angry and continued to say, what disappoints me the most is to know that one of my daughters dare to read this, knowing how stressed, how much anxiety and how furious this made me when it got published. So she asked, who's gonna confess? Who did this? Not one of the girls talked. But Valentina muttered something under her breath. She couldn't take these dramatic outbursts from her mother anymore. From her body language and the roll of the eyes, she asked Valentina, was it you? And that's when she said, no, but I don't see what's the big deal. I mean, if it's not true, why are you making such a fuss about it? She rolled her eyes and Daniela and Marisol just looked at each other. They were worried for her and Anna continue to say because people are talking i can't even go to the spa i can't go to my favorite restaurant and they can't even do my hair at the salon valentina decides to get smart and mock her mother anna's eyes widen at what she heard got up from the table reached out and slapped valentina across the face daniela marisol both told her mother they didn't know anything about how the book got into the mansion after the uncomfortable dinner, none of the girls decided to confess, so the mother grounded them all and told them to go upstairs to do their homework and to go to bed. Vanessa, still watching, didn't approve, but she opened the door and went back to cleaning the table off and asked her if she could do her a favor and get two aspirins with cucumbers. Vanessa said yes. She took the four plates away and was about to leave the room, but Anna asked her to take the book as well, saying she doesn't ever want to see it again. Vanessa is a little curious about the book. Even though she accepts her friend, there are certain truths that don't add up. After the scene, we go upstairs to Daniela's room. She turns on her phone and sees a few missed texts from her boyfriend, Ryan. So she decides to text him back, but instead he calls her and she answers the phone happily. However, on the other side, Ryan is sad. She can tell from his voice. His parents are moving out of their home, going to New York, and he's never to see Daniela again. 
They even threatened him with his scholarship and inheritance. Apparently, they read the book and don't want him to be involved with her again. Daniela gets off the phone knowing that would be the last time she will ever hear from her boyfriend. This foreshadowed something that would happen in the end of this episode. Even though he made promises of coming back, she was sure of it. Daniela has a one-on-one -on -one with Vanessa in the game room, which used to be Cynthia Smith's room, discussing Anna, talking about her boyfriend leaving, and even about Cynthia Smith, but as her father's sister. After their talk, Daniela goes back to her room, but still can't sleep, and has the urge to do something very extreme. Stay tuned for the next episode.